<laughs> that was dope. Okay, I really like that. Here's why. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's me, Rosalie. Welcome to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel. Checking out something by our group, Home Free. Haven't listened to them in quite a while, so it's high time. And they just released a new song that I mentioned I would check out. So let's dive straight in. Home Free is an a cappella group consistent of five men, as we know. And they put out a new song called Playing With Fire. So without further ado, let's check it out. When I saw the title, I thought, hmm, is this going to be that, you know, I see fire, Ed Sheeran type of song? Is this an original? It looks like it's an original. And I'm excited to see what it's about. So let's dive in. Here we go. Playing with fire. I'm playing with fire Striking matches with my heart oh. Sparking desire okay. Sending smoke signals in the dark Maybe I'm burning with passion Sound the alarm, it's spreading Walking the wire Flames getting higher okay. I'm playing with fire I'm playing with fire I like this I'm playing with fire Just turning up the heat Cold and all night Ooh, that was a nice run Cause the warmth here between you That was dope. Okay, I really like that. Here's why. I personally really like this because when I think of a cappella groups, though there are various groups out there, right? Voice play, pentatonic, so many different ones that bring in their own touch, right? Some that are heavier on the harmonies, some that are going to bring in more of the pop uh, covers, the originals, others that are more theatrical, right? Everyone's going to bring in their own vibe, okay? But these five gentlemen here, being five guys, right? Do you have that? To me, this type of song is just perfect for that type of acapella group. Again, I know acapella groups can be all kinds of genres and all kinds of vibes, but it's just so fitting to what I would associate with an all men's acapella group, right? Those tracks that take us back, um, that romantic, smooth boys to men vibe um, that that is just perfect for like a romantic date night you know what i'm saying that sets the mood if you know what i'm saying so 
when I see an all male a cappella group, though they have much more to bring to the table, these guys, even vocally, when it comes to their skill level and their their abilities and you know what they have to give, it really fits so well. Um, tapping into that some of that romantic chill boys to men you know throwback right and I will say just hearing this I'm like man it's awesome that they kind that they took it there because they're uh, at the risk of sounding super old sometimes it almost feels like man they don't make music like this anymore I mean sure they do sure there's music like that out there but it's really this nod I feel to some of those old school vibes that you cherish especially as you get older where it's like, man, it really has that, yeah, set in the mood, romantic, chill feel to it, okay? And before we talk about the lyrics, I loved how there was this build from the various solos and even the harmonies building to a beautiful climax and this crescendo within the way that they arranged their vocals. And um, it was beautiful to see the beat, the beatboxer carrying it really well, the bass elements just carrying it throughout, setting the undertone, if you will, the foundation. But then even Austin's voice and those crazy high notes that he can hit. And uh, I love it because I personally am more of, um, I love the bass and I love those lower notes, but I personally prefer those harmonies when it comes to a cappella, which is why, you know, um, I know some got defensive when I, I did hear one of their songs and it was mostly led by just one. And it didn't showcase as much of the harmonies and it wasn't my favorite. But I really like this one here because it had that full feel, right? And I understand that each of them take turns with leading. Some songs are heavier on the solo or the, the harmonies and the, the unison. But I love that there was this beautiful blend here. The lyrics are beautiful. The video was tastefully done. There was elements of sensuality and playfulness, right? Even those two dancers and the fire and the heart, right? And her looking at the camera, right? There's elements that make it clear what this is about. If we talk about the lyrics, that is too made pretty clear, but it was still done tastefully, right? It, though there was elements of sensuality and playing with fire, the temptation, it didn't come across as perversion. And I appreciate that. And what I mean by that is, especially in the music industry nowadays, because sex sells and because things that are sensual or sexual can be so abused and perverted, where it really takes away from the beauty that is fire. Fire can be dangerous. But fire is also beautiful. Fire is also warmth giving and sus sustains us when we cook our food and, you know, can bring warmth and heat for survival. Like it's both and, okay? And when you have things like sensuality, sexuality, love, relationships perverted, and it's all just a free for all, nothing is sacred anymore, right? Even though people want to talk about the sacredness, right? Well, if it's common, it's no longer sacred. And so where in the music industry sometimes the other extreme occurs where there's a lot of perversion and confusion and this is no longer something there's nothing exciting about it anymore it's almost like you know when you have when 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 jewels become common well they're not we know it's not the real deal if everybody can afford them we know it's not the real deal if things are put out on display for everybody to see it's no longer sacred and special right um it loses its beauty to a degree when things become common accessible to everybody at any time in any place and so when it comes to playing with fire when it comes to romance when it comes to love there's something beautiful about talking about playing with fire right a lot of these wordplay this poetic way of talking about the topic striking matches sparking desire sending smoke signals in the dark okay i mean total fire lingo um Baby, I'm burning with passion. Sound the alarm. It's spreading. But even the lingo here doesn't, to me, portray this idea of, oh, I'm tempted and oh my goodness, sound the alarm because I'm about to do something stupid. I'm a regret. Um, but it's it's more almost like a husband singing to his wife or a couple, right? Enjoying one another. Um, you and I are so dang hot. I know I shouldn't, but how can I not? Walking the wire, flames getting higher. Here too, of course, I know I should not. And it could not imply that this is something forbidden you're not supposed to do. But the way it was presented, it didn't feel like this is going to lead to destruction. Because we know when you play with fire in the wrong way, it can lead to the entire house burning down, right? And it can lead to things being completely destroyed. And when it comes to sexuality, especially, right? Families destroyed, marriages torn apart. Um, but even though it speaks here of I know I shouldn't, personally, I didn't take it as, oh, he's about to do something stupid. It was more, I feel like, a playful way between a couple to 
talk about that fire and keep that flame alive. And, and that is important in marriage and in relationships, right? To keep dating one another, to keep the flame going, to, to keep appreciating one another. Those smoke signals in the dark, right? When you're flirting with the, your spouse and you're sending signals, that spark. I'm playing with fire, so much to lose, but what can I do? Now, again, here too, that lingo, so much to lose, what can I do? Could imply, oh, is he a tempted to do something stupid like what is there to lose right if he's not in a relationship or married or he's not cheating on anybody what is there to lose is this something he shouldn't be doing but again because the whole composition in itself was really that romantic old school let's take it back vibe I feel like the lingo is more just there to spice things up not to imply oh, I'm tempted and I'm gonna do something that I'm gonna regret as in cheat on my spouse or do something that's morally wrong um, I've only got so much fighting left in me, right? A lot of that lingo that could imply, mm, what type of temptation are we talking about? But because it's the music video in that context, it really felt more like a heated flirtatious, flirtatiousness between two people. And maybe this is wishful thinking, you know, that it's not something that would be wrong or morally incorrect but it really felt more to me like especially with the composition and the harmonies and the playfulness like this this perfect date night um music if you will let it burn and uh, melodically also really catchy hook it was sweet it was fun to listen to what do you think let me know in the comments below make sure to subscribe and i'll see you on the next ride Ayo.